नमस्कार हाय हेलो वेलकम टू आस्क इन डिटेल और फेमस यूट्यूब चैनल इन रिचिंग नॉलेज फ्रेंड्स दीज आर सम एक्सरसाइजेस ऑफ अवर सेकंड यूनिट टिंकर कैट सर्किट सर्किट असेंबलीज लेट स्टार्ट द एग्जीक्यूशन और लेट स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग दिस एक्सरसाइजेस रीड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स वॉट इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके विल गो टू द फर्स्ट यस फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स circuit and tinker cats the first question is dash dash see the dash dash is used to assemble and connect various components of a circuit we have solved these exercises in the class but still this is just a reminder or you can say a revision which is used to assemble and connect various components of a circuit it's very simple example is breadboard now yes i will show you how the breadboard look like see this is a breadboard you know very well where we can connect all the circuit assemblies like led register and batteries also and plus is a yes this red line is plus this blue line is minus and we know very well plus is a anode chalo let's go back to the exercise again yes second question in an led the positive end is called as just i have revised positive end is anode now the next question is question number c a dash dash is a predefined electronic circuit that can be incorporated into your 3d design and answer is circuit assembly we have solved and you may remember while solving here also next question is d the dash dash is used to restrict the flow of circuit current electronic uh, current in a circuit which thing register register means itself the meaning is that controlling the flow resistance is nothing but the uh, problems created in a flow so it it controls the current flow next question is that the dash dash is used to turn on or turn off the flow of current in an electronic circuit and the very simple example is switch because switch has two operations on and off it's very easy now we'll move to the next identify the parts now this is a led light this is an led right now how to identify the parts yes the second part is the second part that is the uh, curve kind of leg of that led this end is known as anode what is anode this end is known as anode that is positive end okay and the straight leg of that led light is known as cathode and which is negative end my friends okay so that is done now we are at the next part that is breadboard the middle part this see the line this middle part is known as main area okay this is called main area and this the this is the side area of the breadboard is known as edge what is edge edge it already means that the side line okay now we'll move to the next that is rgb light yes it's very famous we have also uh, done practical of all these things if you remember okay now in this rgb light rgb stands for red green blue and the there are four legs okay so i will tell you all the four legs the first leg is known as red okay this is r r for red the second leg this second leg is known as cathode okay cathode that is minus end the third leg is known as this is third leg third leg is known as blue okay and the final that is this last leg is known as green okay again we'll shortly remind this first is red second one is cathode third one is blue and fourth one is green okay so these are the four legs of rgb led now we'll move to the next part question number 3 please this is descriptive we have to know the details okay the first one is that answer the following question describe the elements or components the first component is push button yes i will show you the push button here after breadboard this is push button and these are the connector these are the connectors these are the legs of this uh, this button and where is the button exactly switch is here friends this is the switch it 
and I told you in the class this switch is used in mouse like just uh, just pressing just pressing the button uh, it it makes a sound tick 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 kind of sound generated by this switch okay push button so it it works only when you push it when you leave it 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 stops working so this is just an example of push button yes so we got to know that about the push button push button is one kind of button used in the electronic circuits for passing power or electric current to the assembly or to the circuit fine it has a spring mechanism that's why when you press it it automatically uh, jumps up so this is how press uh, push button works now the second thing is switch yes it's very common switch never jumps back if you make it off it will remain off if you make it on it will remain on okay the push button and switch button are opposite to each other push button when you make it on and when you release it it becomes off automatically because there is a spring mechanism and switch is a switch doesn't have a spring mechanism when you make it off it remains off i will show you the image so that you can easily understand yes see here is a push button when you switch this is a exact this is exactly button and when you just move to uh, this button to this side it will on when you uh, again move this to that side it will become off but it will work when user will uh, user will change it okay we user will change the mode on or off it it never jumps back automatically now we'll move to the next thing that is register and as i told you register and resistance is nothing but the making break or stopping some something or controlling something and image of the register here my friend register controls the flow of current current flow you can simply say that current flow okay that is the job of register or you can say resistance Chalo. next thing is that coin cell it is just a small battery i will directly show you the image see this is a small battery yes okay and yes look at this the plus is connected to the anode the cur uh, curve kind of leg of the led and the other negative part is going through resistance and joining to the connecting to the the cathode part of the led and register controls the flow and here is a uh, direct connection of the plus point and here is a battery and what is the power of battery 3 volt battery so it is coin cell because it looks like coil it is called coin cell that is the simple reason now we'll move to the next part that is multimeter yes meter meter of our vehicle also shows the current speed of the vehicle in the same way here meter in a circuit assembly will measure or will show the current power supply here is a diagram just look at the diagram here multimeter is pressed uh, placed and which is uh, stuck which is showing the current flow here at this point in the on the breadboard now this multimeter is showing the current at that side and here it, it is not connected anywhere because it, it that's why it is 0, 0.0 so what is the job of meter or you can say multimeter just measuring the voltage or the current that's it now move to the questions next question is that what are circuit assemblies it's very simple i will directly go to the image and see these are the circuit assemblies and you know very well using these circuit assemblies we can make 3d diagrams you can print these circuit assemblies you can make kind of uh, actual assemblies or you can make a project electronic projects or circuit projects okay so this is what is the use of electronic circuit assemblies now we'll move to the next part that is describe the use of the given component in tinkercad circuit first one is arduino and the second one is micro bit let's see the diagram exactly because diagrams makes easy to understand see here we are this is arduino and what is arduino yes arduino is one kind of circuit assembly 
प्लीज रीड दिस लाइन आर डी न्यू एंड टिंकर कैड आर टू पावरफुल टूल्स दैट आर गेनिंग पॉपुलरली पॉपुलरिटी इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ओके सो आर डी न्यू इज ऑल्सो वन काइंड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट्स विच लुक्स लाइक दिस ओके सो दैट इज वॉट इज आर डी नो नाउ विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वॉट वॉज द नेक्स्ट माइक्रोबिट ओके अगेन गो बैक टू द डायग्राम सी द डायग्राम सो दैट इट बिकम्स ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड द माइक्रोबिट सी हेयर इज अ डायग्राम ऑफ माइक्रोबिट इट वॉट इट इज जस्ट रीड द लाइन सी द माइक्रोबिट इज एन इनएक्सपेन्सिव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट बोर्ड इट इज ऑल्सो वन कांड ऑफ बोर्ड एज यू कैन सी द डायग्राम अगेन बट इट लुक्स मोर अट्रैक्टिव एज कंपेयर टू अदर बोर्ड सॉफ्टिंग क्रिकेट और एंड आर्ड्यूनो ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट माइक्रोबेट इट इज ऑल्सो वन काइंड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट बोर्ड दैट इज वॉट इज सिंपल एंड इट इज यूज बाय स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स फॉर लर्निंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कोडिंग सर्किट असेंबलिंग एटसेट्रा नाउ विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सी राइट अ नोट ऑन आर जी बी एल ई डी इन अटिंग करके एट सर्किट ओके वट इट इज ऑल अबाउट नोट ऑन आर जी बी एल ई डी टिंग करके एट सर्किट आर जी बी जस्ट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन बिफोर फ्यू सेकेंड्स अगो विल अगेन ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इट ओके सी हियर आर जी बी स्टैंड फॉर रेड ग्रीन ब्लू इट इज एल ई डी लाइट हैव अ थ्री डिफरेंट एल ई डीज एज पर इट्स नेम वी कैन इजिल अंडरस्टैंड आर स्टैंड फॉर रेड जी स्टैंड फॉर ग्रीन एंड बी स्टैंड फॉर ब्लू एंड द फोर्थ लेग दैट इज बिकॉज एल ई डी आर जी बी एल ई डी हैव अ फोर लेग्स एंड वन फॉर कैथोड अगेन विल गो बैक टू द डायग्राम यस i will show you diagram it's very easy to understand where is rgb okay it is it is inside the question exercise yes see just look at this yes kya correct hai this is rgb light and as i told you the four legs given here in the rgb led light and i also told you the first leg is for r that is red second is for c cathode this third one is for blue blue led and this fourth leg or connector is for green light okay because in the same light there are three colors red green blue and for three different colors three connectors are there first second and third or you can say first third and fourth and this is c second one is c c stands for cathode so this is what is all about rgb light now we'll move to the last question observe the windmill and answer the following okay here is a windmill friends just look at the windmill okay and you have also seen windmill in our book and in a tinker cat software now just observe this windmill and try to answer the first question is that which component of the tinker cat window contains the paraboloid shape used in the design which component of the tinker cat which component you can just simply say, say shapes or or what 3d shapes okay this is the answer of this question now we'll move to the next question which circuit assembly should be used to move the fans of the windmill which assembly will move the fan fan moving is the job of motor so you can simply answer that motor circuit assembly it's very simple answer now the third question is which feature of tinker cad is used to cut the top of the paraboloid cutting so it is nothing but cut out the answer of this question is cut out or you can simply say box cut out or you can also say that box hole cut okay hole means what making transparent and when you make that part transparent it will become cut or hidden so this is all about the exercise of tinker cad and if you Uh, have any query please feel free to ask thanks for watching bye for now like share subscribe and press bell button